this is a very last minute trip. We haven't had any sleep, but I'm pretty excited for this one. If you've been to Disneyland Paris before, or Paris in general, you've probably driven past this sign and thought, hmm, I wonder what that theme park's like. Make sure you come here, guys. It's cheaper than Disneyland, it's better, and we absolutely love it. You're watching Ride Comparisons, and today we're here at Park Asterix. You ready? Yeah. The last time we were here, it was the opening weekend for Totatis, which we absolutely loved. And we got a little bit of a soft spot for this park and we've really wanted to come back, haven't we? Yeah. So this was a bit of a last minute trip. Um, the tolls for both directions is 50 euros, which is a little bit steep. The car park's 20 euros and the park ticket was 60 pounds, but we didn't book it um, in advance, unfortunately. But guys, this is still cheaper than Disneyland Paris. And in our opinion, as thrill seekers, we think it's better. So let's go, Park Asterix. We've really wanted to come here. This is really exciting. I can't wait, there he is. Oh, it's really busy today. Oh, I'm so glad to be back here. If you haven't been here before, guys, it's themed to the old Asterix comics, and it's probably France's best theme park, definitely for the thrill seekers. Now, France has an extreme weather warning on at the moment for um, temperatures apparently going to reach 38 degrees Celsius, um, something that we don't really get in England, so this is going to be quite a scary day. We didn't actually know that the park opening times are actually 10 a.m. till 10 p.m., so we might get some night rides. Um, pretty crazy, isn't it? Obviously, we're doing this in a day trip, so we're probably going to be dying later, but keep with us, guys. Let's see what we can get done. It's really busy, and of course, we're going to start with Totatis. Oh my god, guys, so this is the queue for the Grand Splash already. I'm really not surprised with how hot it is today. We we'll definitely have to get on there later, won't we? Oh, we got a crane over there. I'm not too sure what that's for, guys. Maybe a retrack or maybe a new attraction. We haven't been here for a while, so there'll probably be a few updates. Oh my god, guys, it looks like this is the queue for two tatis already. Oh my god, there is no way. There he is there, two tatis, protector of the tribe. Now just to get a pan around of this queue. No way, no way is this the queue. Because the, the actual queue line starts there, and we know it takes forever. If it's coming all this way out of the main entrance, wow. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely insane. We definitely need a fast track. Eight euros each, which is a little bit expensive, but there's no way I'm waiting in that. It's crazy, isn't it? Mm. So this is two Tatis, guys. It's an Intamin multi-launch coaster and it's absolutely brilliant. Oh, we got some actors here. <laughs> here it goes, guys. You excited? Yeah. Coming round into the switch track and onto the swing launch. What I love about this swing launch, guys, is you get ejector airtime in the middle, it's amazing. And it's also got a really, really well themed station. Totatis, here we go.
<laughs> it was worth coming just for that what do you think oh that was awesome oh guys that was absolutely insane um i really do think we might have underrated it a little bit last time we were here yeah. didn't we um it really does stand up to the likes of Tara, and it really does, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it was, it's so brutal, guys, and the airtime is just crazy, isn't it? Even the stall, the stall nearly rivals the stalls of Voltron and Hyperia. It's madness. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant, guys. If you haven't been on it yet, you've got to get to Park Asterix and go on to Tatis. We might look a little bit shiny now because we, we definitely need some sun cream. It's time for sun cream, isn't it? Um, 38 degrees, it's going to be later. It's about 30 at the moment, and it is hot, isn't it, Jacob? crazy so we've been to the toilet we're all sun creamed up and we've had a drink it's now time to head into egypt for a b&m inverted coaster that can rival nemesis oh no jacob there's a star flyer gotta do it we didn't i didn't see that last time oh no look at it we gotta do it it's not quite the fort park cool zone but that's one way to do it i suppose we might need that later <laughs> Okay guys, here we go with Osiris, a B&M inverted coaster as I said earlier. It doesn't quite beat Nemesis Reborn at Orton Towers unfortunately, but it is a very good number two. Check out this theming. This is Osiris guys, it's absolutely brilliant. We really like this one, don't we? Wow, we've even got the heat today to make it feel even more like Egypt. So, B&M inverts are absolutely brilliant with operations. It says 40 minutes, but I don't think it'll be too bad. What do you reckon? That was good, yeah. We got the middle, unfortunately. Um, you get that a lot with B&M inverts, um, assigned seating, don't you? They do yeah. it at towers as well. So we got the middle, unfortunately, but that was still really good. Um, I got the big seat. Jacob, Jacob got the big seat. He had the two seat belts, so a little bit more airtime for you there. <laughs> I got loads of airtime. Lots of airtime. You will subscribe to Ride Comparisons. We will subscribe to Ride Comparisons. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Yes. Next month we will be going to Orlando and going on the second tallest uh, star flyer in the world. So this is training for me. I don't think anything will be as bad as Groenland. This one's tiny. If you follow the channel, guys, you know that I'm absolutely terrified of star flyers. Oh God. See, big chunky roller coaster restraints, lap bar over the shoulder restraints. Not a tiny little seat belt and a bar. Look, that's not going to protect me. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh no. Why have I done it to myself again? It's not even bad. What are you on No, about? it's okay at the moment. Oh no, no. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh no. I don't like it. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh God, I'm going to pass out. What? I think I'm going to pass out. Yeah, it's quite forceful. Oh my god, what the hell? It's really forced. Oh my god, this is a weird one. Oh! Oh, I don't know if I've done one like this before. It's really forceful. Whoa! Yeah, what's with the force on it? Whoa! Oh my god. Whoa, 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 no, don't spin around, don't spin around. I, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna throw up. What? Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. No way. Oh, I'm stuck in a grey owl. That's weird. Oh my god. So that was a completely unique experience on a Starfly, guys. Have you felt that before? Not really. Um, that one didn't scare me too much because usually what scares me is when they sway side to side, but that one was really intense, wasn't it? A lot of positive Gs. Now, guys, we've just walked over here to where the cranes were. Um, we didn't know anything about this, and it's actually pretty cool. If you come over here to this sign, it says there's a new attraction coming in 2025. Obviously, we can't read French. New roller coaster, as Jacob says. If you look at the picture there, you can see that it's a um, Gerslauer spinning coaster. So um, I had a quick look on the website. And it says it's going to be a family coaster, but we did one at Wiener Prater in Austria, didn't we? And it was actually very good. So if they get an outdoor one and make it quite big with Park Asterix theming, that's going to be an incredible attraction for 2025. So something to look forward to next year, isn't it? Another visit yeah. to the park. We got Gudrix here now, guys. It's an old school model Vacoma. It's been voted one of the worst roller coasters and most painful in the world, hasn't it? Yeah. But me and Jacob came before to test it, see what it was like, see what it was all about. And we actually really enjoyed it. 
but it is very intense. We're going to avoid it for now because it's gone up to 33 degrees. It's boiling hot and to be fair, we think it might actually kill us. Yeah. Look at that chunky track. They definitely have come a long way. It's a beast though still, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's a good layout. Fancy a swim. Oh my god, there's fish. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's bigger fish. Look at her stupid lips. Oh, I can hear it jingling already. This is Tonair to Zeus, guys. It's a wooden coaster. They recently removed the backward seat, didn't they? Yeah. Me and Jacob did it last time. It was a very interesting experience, but um, I can't actually remember. Who does the seats? Gravity Group. Gravity Group. Um, the, the, the Timberline, as Jacob says. The trains are absolutely terrible, guys. This they wood... don't really work with this sort of ride. No, they just don't, unfortunately. It's like actually, it's like a staple, isn't it, really? Yeah. But this coaster has such an amazing layout for a wooden coaster, doesn't it? It's it really good. It's just the trains let it down because it's just so rattly and vibrating, horrible. You feel yeah. like you lose all your blood, didn't you? But let's go give it a go, see if it's improved. Um, shame they got rid of the backwards seat. But anyway, guys, this is Zeus. Uh, unfortunately, we got the middle, guys. But anyway, check out these restraints. They're horrible. So look guys, look at these restraints. They come from the sides and they just staple you in like that. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're not great, are they? They're horrible, aren't they? Oh, listen to it! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Here we go! I don't even know if I want to put my hands up on this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh! oh my god! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! family friendly channel and we don't swear on the channel but what the actual f was that oh my god yeah that that was absolutely out of control guys oh my god better than i remember yeah but it pulled my shoulder it it, 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 it's, it abuses you it's evil that yeah. thing it absolutely out of control i can't believe how fast that was the pacing is absolutely insane you just you're kind of waiting for it to end but it just doesn't because the layout's so long crazy crazy airtime i'm still i'm still blown up I, I, i've lost my voice because i was screaming so much i didn't actually know what to do i didn't know whether to just hold on tight or just let my body sort of relax just it was just it was pain oh my god it's crazy so jacob and sky did this one last time they were here they said it was really rough you didn't enjoy it did you um, i'm not quite sure how to pronounce that i'm going to call it level de care hopefully but yeah i think we'll avoid that one for now won't we yeah, got some little flat rides over there as well I'm not so Jacob was just saying it's time for a little um, more of a family coaster after that ordeal. So this is Pegasus Express guys, it's a Gershaw family coaster. Um, much like 13 at Alton Towers, you go into a little area but there's no drop track, it launches you backwards. I won't do a POV and today but... Gershaw instead of Intamin. And Gershaw instead of Intamin of course. But yeah, we won't do a POV today. Pegasus was good there, wasn't it? Yeah. So we got the dive show over here guys, we did it last time, it's pretty cool if you haven't done it before. My beer here. <laughs> Oh, we were looking for these last time. We couldn't find them. These are the Rapids guys with only a 10 minute queue. Oh, I hope they're good ones. It looks like they are. 
so much better than UK Rapids. I'm absolutely drenched. They're brilliant, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Absolute soaker. I gotta say guys, the queues look absolutely huge, don't they Jacob? Yeah. But the operations here at Park Ashwick are absolutely fantastic. Um, so they don't have like bag drops like we do in the UK. They have, um, they use a little trolley, don't they? So they have like a little trolley, they bring it around, you put your bags on it and then you collect them at the end of the ride and it just really speeds up operations. It's better than a bag drop. Yeah, it's definitely better than a bag drop. Um, anyway, I think it's time for the Grand Splash now, we're already wet. Oh, We haven't done this uh, ride yet. We think it's more for the kiddies. It's sort of like a little well-themed boat ride. You're watching Ride Comparisons, and this is said to be one of the worst roller coasters in Europe. This is Goodricks, everyone. Oh no, here we go. Oh no. middle so that POV was probably terrible I tried to get you a little bit more of Jacob's reaction there um Gudrix is not riding well in the heat is it no that was hard see last time we came we didn't like Zeus but we liked Gudrix this time I kind of respect Zeus a little bit more but uh Zeus, Gudrix was just terrible today wasn't it it really hurt that was that was actually painful I think it's bruised me so last time we were here Sky caught a show and me and Jacob missed it because we were on Gudrix we're going to queue up for it today because she said it was very good pretty cool Got a big boat. So the show was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. That's up there with the likes of Energy Landia's car show, Port Aventura's cowboy show. Yeah. Say. Lots, lots of lots of good shows. I really I really recommend that one guys. It's better than the dive show, so make sure you do that. Um, we got some food now because it's it's probably about 35 degrees I reckon at the moment. We haven't checked. It was 33 last time we looked. All of this costs 32 euros, which is a little bit steep, but we need some energy, don't we? Insane temperatures, eh, Jacob? Oh my gosh! It's 36 degrees currently. It's supposed to be 37 for the next three hours. It is time. Ah, so we got a look here from the other side, guys, for the new Gerstlau family spinner. Yes, it's log flume time. Jacob liked the log flume, he got absolutely drenched. So the queue's not going out the entrance for two tatis now, so hopefully we can get another ride. It's about 35 minutes. So Tatis is a monster. Someone um, was dying in the station from the heat. Um, they had to stop the ride. They were right next to us. They were. They just got off to Tatis and they were laying on the floor, sort of having a seizure from the heat, weren't yeah. they? It was quite sad to see. But it's about the fifth person we've seen with that today, isn't it? It's is so hot, guys. This is crazy. <laughs>
so we definitely didn't notice this last time did we zeus one of the most intense wooden coasters in europe I would honestly say guys this is one of the if not the most intense wooden coaster in Europe but it's just rough isn't it if it yeah. wasn't rough I'd probably say it's the best to be fair our favorites Woden at Europa Park which is quite short isn't it yeah and this has got similar pacing with a really long layout so it's just a shame it's rough really it's got stronger air time stronger air time as Jacob says there so we're gonna try a rider cam this time um, just so you've seen the POV already this time you can see the pain <laughs> oh my god we got the back row that is no longer backwards this is gonna be shaky so brutal i have no idea how that ride cam came out probably terrible or absolutely hilarious i'm not sure better at the back oh, though isn't yeah. it it's a little a tiny bit smoother at the back yeah i thought that how's your 37 degree day at park asterix going very hot very hot <laughs> oh no oh no oh no <laughs> now after a few more rides on two tatis that is the end of our day at Park Asterix. What a theme park, guys. You had a good day? Yeah, despite the heat. Despite the heat, as Jacob says. Um, it wasn't too bad, it adds to it. Um, I quite enjoy the heat, I'm not too bad with it. So it has been quite tough today though, hasn't mm. it? Anyway, guys, as I say, that is Park Asterix. It's absolutely brilliant. And if you're thinking about doing it, um, don't do what we did. So I'm looking at the arrival home time now. We're gonna get home at 2 a.m., which was at the exact time that we left. So 24 hours from East Sussex for us. If you're coming anywhere south of London, um, you can do it in a day as I say um, what I would do though make sure you've got a group of like four um, because obviously the toll is 50 pounds not each way 50 pounds um, there and back um, whatever the ferry cost is uh, you've got the petrol um, the park itself if you don't book it in advance was 64 euros um, I believe it was wasn't it expensive so it's still cheaper than Disneyland Paris um, but what I would do if you're two or one traveling um, I'd try and tie in Disneyland as well and make it sort of a trip. I wouldn't just come in a day for this theme park because it's a very expensive trip, isn't it? Um, but as I say, if there's four of you, definitely go for it. Anyway, guys, you got to come here. It is awesome. Um, I still stand by what I say. I think it's better than Disneyland Paris. What about yourself? Yeah, I think so. Um, Disneyland yeah. Paris is really expensive. Um, what me and Jacob were saying earlier was um, if you come the first time, Disneyland is amazing. You can't beat the magic, but... If you go back, there's no rewritability, is there? Um, for thrill seekers like us, you just end up going from Big Thunder Mountain to Space Mountain to Big Thunder Mountain, and it gets a bit boring, doesn't it? Crushes Coaster. And Crushes Coaster. And Tower Terror. And Tower of Terror. Can't forget about those two, we've got to be fair. But um, anyway, guys, if you've been to Disney and you've driven past it, don't drive past it again. Make sure you come next time. Totatis is awesome, and that is the end of the video. See you next time. It's half 11 French time, and we're still in Calais. Ah! No! <laughs> I forgot to say guys, don't forget, hitting that subscribe button really does help us continue to do this and we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video guys, hitting that subscribe button really does help us out and don't worry, it's not the end, there's more videos here.